Um, thanks you everybody so much for joining. Um, my name is Jaretha Bennett. I'm one of the success managers here at Community Funded. Um, and I am joined by Haley Bell. She's one of our partners here at West Texas A&M University. Um, she is a senior director for annual giving um, at West Texas. Haley, thank you so much for joining us today. Really appreciate it. Um, I think this conversation is it's really been a long time coming, um, but much needed and super excited to talk to you about uh, what you've been up to the past year with community funded. So I'm happy to share. There's been a lot. So yes, <laughs> there has been a lot. You've been very busy um, and I am going to do like a little back and forth of sharing my screen here. So if you see me looking at multiple screens, that's what I'm doing. So um, while I get set up, why don't you start off by telling us a little bit about what originally brought you to Community Funded and talk about what some of your original goals were. Okay, so um, here at West Texas A&M University, we were starting um, back in the summer of last year, we were getting ready to go on a public launch for our comprehensive campaign. Um, the campaign is called One West and it was, we had a goal to raise $125 million and the biggest obstacle that I found starting at WT um, was our online giving platform. It was just, um, there's a lot of donor friction. It just wasn't easy to navigate. Um, so as we were talking about launching this publicly, one of the big things in my mind was we've got to have a better way for people to give online so that if we're pushing these things, um, giving opportunities, it's easy for them to give. Um, so that's really what brought me to Community Funded. Um, on a separate side of that, as a new director of annual giving, I was tasked with finding ways just to connect across campus. Um, the foundation is fairly new um, considering the age of the university. And so as we've got to find ways to connect across the university and, and really be um, a benefit to the rest of the departments and academic units. And I had no idea how that was going to happen. And I had no idea that community funded was gonna help me do that. Okay. Awesome. So before you came to Community Funded, were you doing any crowdfunding? No, I mean, we did it. We, we participated in a um, area wide crowdfunding campaign that's hosted by Community Foundation, but nothing hosted internally. OK, and um, how were you handling things like alumni association memberships and um, things like event ticket sales? Were you using a certain platform or website for that? Everybody used something different. Um, we did we did have an online giving ability, um, it, and it worked fine. I mean, it had all the functionality. It just wasn't that good user donor experience that you could kind of tell a story. It was mainly just you know drop down check boxes. Um, it worked, but it just wasn't what I thought we needed as far as um, telling some of these stories and it being a more where a donor could come on and kind of explore the different ways to give and see their impact. Um, and then as far as ticketing, a lot of it was um, kind of old school, like cash and checks or call the office and we'll take it over the phone. And um, so we've come a long way. Absolutely. OK, so I remember we first started, we got um, the IMWT initiative up and running. Uh, and then you started to kind of expand a little bit and you wanted to do more. Uh, what eventually led you to the decision to just expand and do as much as you could with the platform? So what originally it was, let's just get a couple of just the ability to give. So I wanted to have academic units. Um, you know, the library, some student programming, just the basic broad boxes as I was, I was, as I would call them. Um, but the more I kind of played in community funded, the more I was like, ooh, I can use this for this, or hey, I wonder if I could make this work. Um, and so the more that we played with it, the more, the more it worked. So got it. Oh, looks like we have another <laughs> another camera there. Okay. Perfect. Um, all right. And so we're about a year in. You officially made it to the 12 month mark, which is exciting. Uh, what are the benefits that you've seen so far um, now that you've kind of got everything on a single platform? So I will say, I shared my link, so I apologize. Um, I didn't realize it would show us. So she's going to turn her camera. That's okay. um, so I'll say for cross campus, um, we have used community funded for 
anything and everything that re requires anything as far as taking tickets or donations. So any sort of financial transaction, we've utilized community funded for that. So it went well beyond just a place to make an online donation. Um, we've used it for specific event pages and member. We've, we've moved a bunch of our memberships over, which was um, really interesting. And the support team has been amazing. Um, they're like my best friends. I, I talk to them all the time and they're probably like, it's Haley again. <laughs> um, but they've been really great to work with me to say, okay, this is the function I'm trying to figure out for a membership and um, helping me to navigate that. So we've used it for monthly giving memberships versus annual membership. And we, here in West Texas, we host uh, steer and heifer shows. And so we used it for a registration site for um, individuals and students across the whole region to be able to enter into the steer and heifer show. Um, there's really not been much we haven't been able to, to figure out a way to use it, so. Awesome. Now, you did mention um, the support team, and I will say you've done the bulk of the heavy lifting here, you've done an amazing job, but support is, I think it's really the, honestly, one of the biggest selling points of community funded. They are the best team members here. Uh, what was your work with them like over the past 12 months, and how helpful were they? So I, um, I think there's been like a joke about how there's probably like a, a Haley Bell box of requests uh, because there's been a, a handful of things that I have asked for um, the uh, enhancement requests. So I've done the enhancement requests and asked for things, and there there are quite a few that that have worked, and we've gotten to you know we've made it work, and it's been amazing for us. Um, but I'll say it's been. I probably talk to the people at Community Funded Support every day. I get on my little chat and I'm like, hey, I'm trying to do this today. Why won't this work? Or I'm trying to make it look like this from this page to this page. How can I make that work? Um, so really it's just kind of a virtual bouncing of ideas of me saying, I need it to do this. How can I make it do that? And they can usually tell me how, or here's a workaround, so. Awesome. Yeah, they're fantastic. They are awesome. Um, I want to switch gears a little bit and actually show some of your pages. So I want to pull that up and give me one second. Um, as I'm doing that, is there anything else you'd like to share with the group um, before we hop in to your pages? Um, well, and I kind of touched on this a little bit, but I'll just uh, reiterate that we've um, from where we started to where we where we are now has been a huge transformation of our giving, um, and just really it's really quick. I mean, I've learned the system, and it's easy to learn once you. The more you play in it, the more you'll learn. Um, but you know, someone says, "Hey, we're having an event tomorrow night, and we need a just a, a little giving side to give to you know." I think it was basketball rings. There was going to be a basketball banquet, and our our ladies won the national championship. And so they said, "We." we need people to be able to help buy the rings. And so we were able to put together just a quick QR code that directed them specifically to, uh, here's how you can give to the rings. So it's been really nice just for little small projects as well as our major giving platform as well. Absolutely. Um, and can you see my screen, Haley? I can. Okay, perfect. Uh, before we hop into this, I want everyone to kind of get an understanding of the size of your office. Um, would you say you were, really the only person working on this page? Yes. Okay, so you really didn't have a team. It was really just like a one woman show. Um, I just think that's important to share um, and to understand. You don't really need to have a full team of people. It, it takes work, you know, but it is doable with one person. So just wanted to point that out in case anyone was curious. Um, okay, so you really have two primary pages and you just kind of correct me and elaborate as we go on, but um, I wanted to start with the um, your crowdfunding page, your IMWT page. So this is really where we got started and it's very impressive. Um, so kind of walk me through what we have here in general, and then I'm gonna highlight a couple. Okay, so this is our, and I, I will make a small correction. IMWT is our faculty and staff giving, which is, a, is our third initiative. So this You're is just our main, right? Our main giving. This is if you were to go on our main WT website and you were going to go to give, this is the page that shows up. So this is just our main giving page for the university as a whole. 
perfect. So tell me what we have here. What did you decide to include on this page? Just pretty much every area of giving. Every area of giving. Um, I'll tell you, with more time, this was going to become where each of these top stories we're going to become custom pages um, like the events and special programs at the bottom. Right now, these are stories um, and it's worked fine. But okay. here at the bottom is where we've really customized for specific events and programs um, across the university. Okay. Okay. Um, I took a couple of notes on one, a couple I want to highlight. Um, okay. So on this page, you have your WT Athletics page, which I think is great. Um, this gives you the option to donate to specific sports, but you also have a link that takes you to the athletic membership program. Tell us a little bit about that, because I think um, memberships are new in terms of being on the platform for some of our partners. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so we, um, again, once people kind of saw this and saw what we were doing, they're like, hey, I really want to do my membership page. Is there any way you can, can you, can you create this for us? Um, so it, it took a little playing on the back end because our donors and our members are used to being able to pay either a one-time annual or monthly. Um, so there was a lot of creating and then deleting and recreating, um, but we kind of, we finally figured out a way that we could do our levels and have the monthly or um, an annual with doing just two options of giving. So um, this is our Buffalo Club, which is our, our athletics membership. And um, I worked with athletics to get their, you know, all the different levels and perks. And it made it nice to be able to do it from our main page. And even though it's a separate initiative to just do a little link to take them there, because that's really what we push for our giving. Um, right, okay. And I see you were also able to customize your checkout page, which is great. Um, yeah. Awesome, okay. Well, let me go back, there was one more. Um, Oh, yes. Okay, let's go to the employee partner. Let's click that one. Okay, tell us a little bit about this one. So we had um, our Office of Career and Professional Development um, director contacted me and said, I just need an easy way for the employees that we, uh, I mean, technically get like sponsorship or um, I guess sponsorship is the best word. Um, so they partner with different employers and they get different perks. So she said, I really just need them to be able to give easily. Um, historically, they would go to our normal giving site and have to go through, you know, a drop down with a bunch of different options. And so we just created them a little page. So on their page, on their website page, um, you can say become a partner and they're able to see their levels and then just pay. Uh, we were able to customize it so that you can't do other, you can't do monthly. It was a this is how much it costs, this is your choice, um, just a basic kind of payment portal, if you will. Awesome. Wow, you really did make it very easy for them. Fantastic. Okay. I think those are the two main areas I wanted to cover. Um, oh wait, nope, just kidding. Events and special programs. So um, I think this is fantastic. So the president circle, this would be, just click on that. Um, anything you care to share about this one? Yeah, this is um, the President Circle is our, the President's Fund is, uh, you know, a higher level of giving that gets different perks, you know, with, um, for joining um, the, the highest of which is priority parking on campus. Um, but we wanted to make it easier for people to give and to offer again, you can see we did you can do a one time or a monthly and by placing them above where their frequency is, I felt like it was pretty uh, self-explanatory for the donors um, so they can do it on that one and this one was a pretty basic easy page the um for this was a, another small membership kind of like the athletics but it was it's just one little option um, okay. for the event I know you had asked me about the um, buff branding steer and heifer show it's under the special programs if you click that special events and programs Hope I didn't um, unpublish it because it was. Let's see. Uh, I think I did because it was over Jaretha. That's okay. <laughs> there are actually a couple here that I wanted to showcase. Okay. Uh, so the golf classic, this would be an event. It's already happened, of course, but again, this just shows the ability 
you gave some instructions on how to register um, and they were able to pay here on the website, which is great. So we've done golf tournaments two ways. We have done where we've historically used Event Caddy just to keep hold of all, all of our registrations. Okay. Um, and then for the checkout, we directed them to this page just to pay. But I've also created pages um, for an actual golf tournament where you can fill in a full registration. So I think it's, um, there's one on the athletics. Um, I think it's called the Buffalo Classic. Let's see. I think you'll have to go to the main yeah. gaming. Let me go back. It's on the on that bottom section of the main page, Jaretha. Yeah, at the very bottom. And open up that maroon box, the one that has special events and programs. And I'm pretty sure the Buffalo Club Golf Classic is in there. Oh, wait, wait. Yep. There it is. So you can do it there, but if you, you click in the actual page. That's foundation golf. Am I just overlooking it? No, it's, I, I don't think that I've put it on that page because we're still making a few tweaks. You can look at the shooting for Australia. That's one that we use for an event registration. Yes. This is another event. So we had, um, where you could just give a general gift so that the day of, if someone wanted to just, you know, pay for raffle tickets or something like that, they could go ahead and just give right there. Okay. Um, then, Hello, there were the sponsorship and team entry. So we just used, I used um, rewards so that I could set a specific amount for these. Um, now that with stories, you don't have to have more than one donation amount. You could technically use a story for these. Um, but at the time, we just used rewards. So we had sponsorship opportunities. And then below, you could also just do your shooter registration. Okay, awesome. Um, Haley, we do have one question coming in for you. Um, Tina says, I quickly saw a payroll deduction option. Were you able to link your payroll deduction form to this feature? And if so, how did you do this? Okay, so um, if you're ready to move on from event registration, Jaretha, yeah. you'll go into the IMWT initiative. Yep. Um, and I'm not sure... Yep, and let me stop sharing real quick and I will pull that up. We might have to go in the back end and then, okay. I don't think it's public yet on my page. Okay. So our um, faculty staff giving campaign starts late August, early September. Um, and we have over the years gone from like a paper PDF registration form that were gathered and brought to <laughs> advancement services to using a WUFU form with check boxes. And then this year we'll roll out um, community funded where uh, our faculty staff are able to give to our, our campaign either by credit debit card or by payroll deduction and either one counts. Um, so our faculty staff giving campaign is called IMWT. Um, in order to make it in my mind so that it was self-explanatory that either you can give payroll deduction using the pledge or credit debit card, I put, um, like if you push the give, it kind of gives some instructions. And then if you push that give, it gives you two options and they can choose credit debit card. Oh, that's supposed to say, um, the one on the left is supposed to say payroll deduction. I need to fix that graphic. Okay. <laughs> I've been playing with, with graphics today to get those in. So, but if you go ahead and push that one on the left, cause that is the payroll deduction platform. So there's no, um, I only allow pledges on this one. So I was able to go on the back end and support was able to show me which stories I can say pledge only. So um, if you push the payroll, if you give this, yes. And I utilized stories and funds to separate this out. So they can give to a scholarship or if you choose like academic unit, Jaretha, that may be a better one because then you can see more examples of um, okay. So there they can choose. I want to give to this college or, okay. Okay. 
Um, we have another question for you, Haley. Shelby would like to know, what do you use for your CRM? And um, does community funded integrate with that CRM? Okay, so um, I'm gonna finish talking about this checkout page really quick and then I'll show you that. So um, in order for us to process payroll deduction, we have to have um, the employee's UIN number. We like to know where their office is so that we can deliver their their goodie that we give away for the donors. Um, we need to know if they are faculty staff on a nine or 12 month, or if they get paid weekly or month or bi-weekly or monthly. So we're able to collect all of that data. And then we added a few more um, drop downs that are helpful for our advancement services to help them tag the gifts. Um, and then we also added membership, which was a huge hurdle in the past for um, our faculty staff giving campaign because they would want to give $20 and say, yeah, I want to use this for our membership to the museum. And it's like, well, that doesn't, that doesn't add up. It's more than $20. So utilizing community funded allowed us to put those parameters in place of this is how much the membership costs per month or over the whole year so that it's really clear for our faculty and staff to know what they want to give to. So for our CRM, we use Razor's Edge. We are still on RE7. We haven't made the switch over to NXT. Um, so it's not integrated as far as pulling in donor data directly into the database. Um, we more or less um, export the data and process it as we would a credit card. Okay. All right, no more questions for the moment. Um, Haley, is there anything else you'd like to highlight on this page before we take a look at Alumni Association? Yeah, um, if you'll go down, payroll deduction is still really good because the majority of our faculty and staff do give by payroll deduction. Um, if you were to click the one on the left and push the give, so on this drop down, you can if you scroll down, um, you can see some of the different opportunities as far as the memberships. So um, don't do the museum because that's not loaded yet. I'm still working on it. But say um, the alumni association membership. Okay. It's gonna keep going up. Okay, so on this one. So this one shows we have a lot of different memberships, which we'll highlight on that page. But what I did was really take a simplified version of it and made it to where faculty and staff can give easily by payroll deduction. Um, but again, these are just funds that we added in the amounts on the fund so that it's really easy for when they're going through, they know exactly how much it costs. And then if you'll X out of that, Jaretha, I can okay. show how we added, and just scroll down the page a little bit. We added all the different memberships because that's a big thing that our donors our faculty and staff want to give to whether it's our alumni association or we have a museum or the athletics i went ahead and put in a graphic that just gave all the different um, membership levels and types and our arts um, that way that's an option and it's clear and all the information is there they're not having to click around to different pages across the university website to figure out what they want to give to so again using community funded to make it really easy and really clear um, and ho obviously hoping that in seeing this, they'll do more than, you know, $5 a month. They'll say, oh, well, I'll go ahead and give, you know, it's so easy. Awesome. Okay, great. And I'm just still keeping an eye on the Q&A box. So if you have any questions, feel free to type those in. Um, okay, Haley, anything else on this page? I don't think so. This, so we've done like our main giving initiative and then the IMWT, this is the only one that we allow um, the pledge feature to utilize for payroll deduction data. And then we've done one specifically for our alumni association as a separate initiative. Okay, great. All right, let's hop on over to the final page. This is your alumni association membership. Let's talk a little bit about that. So this one was, um, this one took a while. This was the first membership that we worked through and um, one of the biggest challenges that we ran into was, again, our, our donors are used to be able to give monthly, um, but then we also have a couple of different ways that you can join our alumni association. There's a join through your college, 
um, so that you're able to give half of your gift to a specific college, or there's a traditional where you get, you know, all the goodies and spirit items sent to you. So we had to be able to, on the back end, build this out to where they understand there's two choices. And then once they get there, then they could choose one time monthly based on the level. So it really was quite robust how, how well, um, a lot of robust information, but it was really nice the way the community funder was able to accommodate that despite all of the options. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me scroll up a bit here. Um, okay, let's just do, I'll do traditional membership. Let's see what that looks like. So even here, you still list out, um, again, all the membership perks. And, okay. We used, um, because we wanted to have the monthly option, we used stories for these sections uh, rather okay. than rewards. Um, and then we also have all of our chapters below. So you could add those on as an additional chapter to one of your alumni association. Okay. So we could check out with really both of these at once then. Is that, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Because we didn't do the drop down at the top, we wanted to actually showcase it so that visually they could see all the different options and the, the chapters. We wanted to go ahead and display the stories on the screen versus just doing the drop down. Okay. All right, easy enough. Let's see. Okay. And let's go back and Let's look at the college loyalty membership. So similar setup. Just the options are just a little bit different. It was really nice to be able to, to display the two initiatives, kind of like we did with the faculty and staff where it's card and payroll deduction or these yeah. two completely different types of membership so that they know ahead of time, oh, I need to go, I wanna be the traditional, I want all the goodies, I'm going this way. Um, and that way the sites were really clean and clear once they made that initial decision. So it made it nice to be able to separate those into two different things versus having, you know, scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. Yeah. So this awesome. is, I guess, like that kind of a nested initiative format that I was trying to understand and I finally got it. Okay, great. Okay, anything else on this page? Oh, let's see. I think we may have looked at this. Yeah, we're doing our whole homecoming through Community Funded. Okay. Um, you, uh, there's a couple of things published if you want to open it in, open it up. Um, we wanted to be able to have all of our homecoming events available. So there's only a couple of things right now. Okay. Um, if you are part of the homecoming parade and you want to pay your fee, you can pay your fee. Okay. Um, but then we also have like a distinguished alumni event that will be, I'll be building the page for this week where people can buy tables and there's different labels, um, um, levels of tables that you can purchase for different costs. Um, so all of our events and um, homecoming, anything that has any sort of financial transaction will be hosted on, on community funded for homecoming this year. Okay, fantastic. Um, oops, I went back too far here. Um, let's go to, and then you'll have a homecoming golf classic. So, okay. And this is another one that we, the registration is always, they've always used event caddy. So this is just a really simple way for them to register and just do the transaction pay piece through community funded. Okay, fantastic. Um, one of the pages that I really want to show is on our, um, is the South Africa study abroad. Yes. Um, a really fun project. Let's see. So this is one that we have a group that's going to South Africa and it's from 11 different majors. So we wanted to be able to show a really broad, um, fundraising. So not only can students, we, I made like a little toolkit for the students um, okay. so that they, they knew how to talk to donors and say, or, you know, their, their circles, their parents, grandparents, you know, 
bosses, parents, friends to say, hey, I'm going on this trip. Um, and they can actually come on here and give directly to a student. Um, or they can fund books that are going to South Africa um, through a partnership with a program in Amarillo called Storybridge Amarillo. Or they can give to one of the community projects they're doing gardens um, and videoing them to teach other townships how to create their own gardens in South Africa. Um, if you go to the give at the very top, you can kind of see the different um, the ways that people could give, but I love to be able to embed the video. That was the executive director of StoryBridge sharing why she was helping with books. But here they can give to the gardens or the books, or they can do a student support. And then they were just, they wrote the student's name in the checkout screen um, if they wanted to support a student's portion of their, of their um, cost. Okay. All right. Yeah, I do remember that page. It's one of my favorite ones. Mine too. It was just fun and colorful. Mm -hmm. Right. But before people would not have had, I mean, like this is when I was talking about how I connected with people across the campus. So um, this has been really great for the annual fund for the foundation to be able to connect with okay, the Alumni Association needs it for this, or diversity and inclusion is hosting an event and they need to sell tickets. Okay, now, um, you know, this college is hosting a study abroad trip and we need to be able to help them, or the radio station is hosting something, or um, some of this is kind of a mess still, so. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. <laughs> um, it's a work in progress always, but yeah. connecting athletics, alumni, academic units or even the you know different departments like career and development so like I said I didn't know how I was going to do that and and this has been it because I get constant calls and emails of hey I'm having this event can you create a page for me or we're having an event and we just want people to have just a way to give easily versus yeah. go to this website click this check down check box um, we generate QR codes all the time for these specific pages because the story can have its own URL. So we'll just create a QR code and print it on a nice little postcard and have them on the tables for an event and a donor can sit there, scan it, and they're on that custom page right there in front of them. So. Okay. So you would say overall the reception on campus has been, it's been pretty good. People are interested in, in hopping on the platform, it sounds like. We've, we've had to figure out a way that we're going to, um, do an intake of all the requests, honestly, of, okay, tell me what you're needing. Tell me why, what do you need? This yeah. is what I need from you. Just because we did not expect such a quick and heavy response of I'm doing this. I need this, but mm -hmm. it's been a good thing. Fantastic. Good. I'm so glad to hear that. Uh, it's been a great first year and I know the second year will be even better. Um, you worked so hard this first year. So yeah, I think we're all really excited to see what happens next. Well, thanks, Jaretha. It's been fun. It has. Um, is there anything else you'd like to share before we hop off? Or any um, tips for anyone who, you know, is on the fence or may decide to, you know, jump headfirst and just take on this project? You know, I would say it's been one of the few things, and I've worked in a few different CRMs and, you know, specific giving platforms. And this is one that I've been able to use the most broad. I mean, even if we have someone, you know, we have someone pass away, we're able to do a tribute page specifically that for that person um, so that we can designate tribute or memorial gifts directly to that person and, and tell a little bit about them or a memorial scholarship. Um, it's just been really nice to do targeted campaigns, big or small. Yeah. Awesome. I'm glad that we were able to make it as easy for you as possible. Um, you've been wonderful to work with this past year. So we're just glad we've been able to help in some way. So yes, thank you. Y'all have too. Awesome. Okay. Well, we are going to wrap up here. Um, thank you so much for staying on a few minutes extra. And for those of you still in the audience, we really appreciate that. Um, if you are a current partner and you have questions about this, you can reach out to your success manager. We'd love to talk to you about this and help with your fall planning that's coming up. 
Uh, if you're not a current partner, you can reach out to Carrie Spiegelhoff. You can just email her at Carrie, C-A-R-R-I-E, at communityfunded.com. All right. Well, thanks so much, Haley, and we hope everyone has a great day. Thanks, Sharita. Thanks. Bye.